Hello, EDD 485 students. My name is Jeff Bauman, and I would like to welcome you to our EDD 485 class. Now, EDD 485, some call this class science methods, um, is a really awesome class that has you focusing on creating uh, engaging hands-on science lessons for your future classroom, okay? And what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna give you a quick walk through our Canvas course. I'm going to explain everything to the best of my ability, kind of give you a heads up of, of what to expect in the course. Now, like I said, we're gonna be using Canvas this semester. So when you go to Canvas, you should see um, your class should look something like this. Uh, this is an example of a banner that I made using Google Slides, you're going to do something similar to this um, this semester as well. So um, my name again, Jeff Bauman, and right here, this is all the information, uh, contact information you may need this semester. If you want to learn more about me, I've provided some links. Uh, I teach middle school science during the day, college at night. I'm a robotics coach, and I am also a NASA Solar System Ambassador. So I keep pretty busy. So everything you need is right here. Um, course information, this is an asynchronous course, which means that you will be completing work on your own, and uh, we do not have a scheduled meeting time. We have weekly office hours on Wednesdays from 3 to 4, but we do not have a set meeting time. And if you can't make the weekly office hour, you can uh, also send me an email and I'll set up a time where we can meet. So I'm always willing to uh, set something up if you can't make the office time, okay? So right here, this is everything you need to know about the course. Um, I have all of our tutorials right here on this YouTube playlist. Every assignment that you uh, are gonna be doing has a video that goes along with it. You can uh, watch me explain everything. And uh, yes, astronauts flossing, I mean, that's just awesome. And here are my norms for uh, 485, okay? So that's right on the front page of Canvas. Uh, weekly announcements will be underneath the announcements uh, link right here. And moving on, our assignments. And this is, um, these are all the projects that you're going to be completing for me. Now, in 485, um, you are going to create uh, a slide introducing yourself. And then you're going to reflect um, a couple times on Flipgrid. Okay, and so right here you have topics one, two, uh, I believe there are five of them that you are going to provide a reflection upon. And so when you go to these assignments, uh, all the links are there, all the instructions, you're going to go to Flipgrid and you're going to record a response for me. We're not using the discussion board in this class, you're going to be recording responses. Um, this semester for your midterm, you are going to become GLOBE certified which is a really awesome thing. I am a GLOBE teacher and I love using GLOBE science protocols in the classroom. I did that in elementary and middle school as well. So you're going to uh, one week create your GLOBE account and later on you're gonna complete some training. And when it's all said and done, you're gonna have a certificate from GLOBE and, and NASA, which is really cool. It looks awesome on a resume. So you're gonna do that. You're going to create uh, a curriculum study where you create a presentation, you lay out the curriculum grades K through eight, and um, you're gonna work on GLOBE certification, like I said, uh, discussions, and then what you're gonna be doing is writing lesson plans. You're going to write six lesson plans for your science unit. That the big project for this semester is you are going to create a science unit that consists of six lesson plans. All of your lessons should be engaging, hands-on, learning science by doing science, not read a book and answer uh, questions requiring definitions and things like that. I want students doing science. That's how we learn, okay? So you're gonna create six lessons that focus on one topic. So for instance, you might create a, a unit that focuses on cells. You might create a unit that focuses on genetics. You might have one that focuses on chemistry. We're gonna focus on just one topic. We're not gonna bounce all around. We're not gonna do fossils and cells and um, force and motion. You're gonna create six lessons one, to one topic. That's the way we do it, okay? So you're gonna write six lesson plans for me and they have to flow in order. Uh, there has to have, there have, you have to have skills that the students will build upon as they progress through the lessons, okay? Um, you're going to create a classroom banner 
much like the one I showed you just a few minutes ago, and you are going to create a Google Classroom. That's right. So you are going to write these lesson plans as if you were teaching in person, and you are also going to create a Google Classroom to host your lessons in the event that students were learning online. So you might have to change your lessons a little bit so the students could complete those online. All right. And some of you are probably wondering, well, why would I write a lesson for in-person learning? And why would I have it set up for online learning? Times have changed, my friend. Okay. And you need to know how to be able to go back and forth between the, the you know, virtual versus um, in-person learning. Face-to-face uh, -face learning is the way to go with science. It's what we all want to do. However, in this crazy world right now, we have to be able to get our are learning all set up online so students can learn from home, okay? So this pandemic has uh, definitely taught me that as an educator, and it's something that you need to be prepared for as well um, to teach awesome face-to-face -face lessons and teach awesome, awesome lessons online virtually, okay? So you're gonna host your lessons um, on a Google Classroom as well. And like I said, get GLOBE certified, you're gonna create a Quizlet study set. You're gonna write up an overview for your science unit. You are gonna have three lessons that have super awesome best, practice, best practices or additives to them. So your three of your lessons, you're gonna add something to them to really take it up a notch. And to learn more about that, just check out the assignment. And um, your last assignment will be your M portfolio. You're gonna create a page for your M portfolio. And that's it in a nutshell. Now. The one thing I want you to know is that in this course, uh, all of the assignments have due dates. I believe they're all set to a Saturday at six o'clock at the end of the week. Uh, that's what I want your assignments turned in. Now, if you're the type of learner that likes to work ahead, that's totally fine. This course is a self-paced course. Sure, you have due dates, but if you wanted to work ahead, you could. So if you follow the pacing that's on Canvas, you can finish up on time. But if you want to be done in like two months, three months, you could be done well ahead of schedule as well. So all of your work, um, it's really up to you when you decide that you want to complete the tasks. OK, so all assignments are due on uh, before the due date here. If you miss that due date, uh, you have three days to get the assignment in for 80%. So if you're late, you lose 20% of your final grade. So don't, don't do that. Pay attention to your due dates. And uh, these are our assignments. Grades will be hosted here. And for your syllabus, you can find the course syllabus right here um, under the syllabus link in the navigation side. Uh, click here to download if you want, or you can scroll through it right here. Uh, again, this is an asynchronous course. We are not meeting on campus and there is no textbook to purchase. I know, super awesome. I am a good guy. No textbook this semester, okay? So syllabus is right here. And if I'm not mistaken, here's some information about the library. And I believe all of the due dates are laid out uh, right here on the syllabus link, okay? So long story short, here's what I need you to do. You just got an email from me today uh, with some things to do to get started. Start working on those. Review the syllabus. And if you have any questions, make sure you contact me in advance. Okay. Again, my name is Jeff Bauman, and I'd like to welcome you to EDD 485. It's going to be a great semester. And, you know, really to wrap it up in my message here, one of the things that I'm looking for as an as a professor with this course is I'm looking for risk takers. I'm looking for you to really take those really crazy, cool, awesome science ideas, put them into motion in your lesson plans. And I really, I, I love creativity and energy, okay? So when you build your lessons and you do your assignments, keep that in mind. And another thing to know is I'm always an email away um, if you need help. So uh, again, welcome. And thank you for taking the time to uh, watch this quick tutorial about a, a quick discussion about EDD 485. Thank you.